नमस्कार गुड मॉर्निंग राम राम टुडे वी आर हेयर विद अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट वीडियो जुपिटर रिटर्न नाउ व्हाट इज दैट यू नो एसी एस्ट्रो इज नोन फॉर देयर यूनिक कंसेप्ट बट विद अ वेरी सिंपल लैंग्वेज फॉर अ ले मैन नाउ टुडे यू विल गेट अ वेरी न्यू कंसेप्ट फ्रॉम आकाश जी दैट इज जुपिटर रिटर्न एंड दैट इज आफ्टर ट्वेल्व ईयर्स नाउ हाउ इंपॉर्टेंट दिस इज एंड वॉट इज जुपिटर रिटर्न हाउ इट विल वर्क फॉर यू ट्वेंटी सेकेंड अप्रैल नाउ नॉट वेरी फार वेरी नियर So let's welcome Akash Chauhan ji from Calgary, Canada, and further we will learn from him. Akash ji, namaskar. Namaskar, Rohit ji. So this video is only for people who have Jupiter in Aries already present in their chart, already in the sign of Aries. If they are not, okay. if they have Jupiter in another sign, then it does not will not make sense for them. Okay, you mean to say that the people. Who uh, have a birth chart with Jupiter Aries? When they take birth, their Jupiter was in Aries at that time. That is why it is called Jupiter return because Jupiter is again returning to the to its own sign. So, without further to do, uh, we will go into a very important thing that is the story. Story behind this. Yes, so you here. So you know the transit of Jupiter in Vedic language is called Brihaspati Sankramana. okay that means the movement of jupiter in 12 houses now roj ji dates back to again during the samudra manthan okay the vedic story of rishpati in aries sign is associated with the myth of churning of the ocean samudra manthan and everyone knows that the poison halahal came out of it and shiva took it to destroy but after the poison was uh, uh, consumed again they started churning the ocean because everyone wanted amrit the 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 syrup to immortality okay and what happened you know uh, while doing this uchchayshrava there was a divine horse named uchchayshrava he was the horse with seven heads uchchayshrava the the beautiful the best horse in the world the king of horses better than a unicorn also what we call now uh uchchayshrava came out of the ocean and this horse was considered as the symbol of power and strength and both devas and asuras you know they wanted to claim ownership of it uh in the second slide here i have put a image of uchchayshrava that how it used to look it was having seven heads this was how it looked and it was supposed to be seven headed flying horse again like we call unicorn and it was created during this churning of the milk ocean it it is considered as the best horse is the prototype of the king of horses and it was also given the the status of the king of the horses and even in uh, in rigved it is also written that it was also presented to the first king of the earth this this horse and it this horse can only come to pure and pious people only that is the only uh, condition of this horse now moving back roj ji so you know this uchcha shrava came out of uh, the ocean so everyone wanted to claim ownership devtas wanted it because they want the power of flying horse they want to be on it and so that they can fight the asuras the asuras also wanted it so that they can be on it and fight the uh, devatas but rohit ji it again it um, went into lot of fight between devs and asuras to get this horse the dev devas and and trusted the horse to brahaspati because he was the purest person of all the gods who has done no sin because he is the dev guru is the guru of devatas and that is why when while he was leading and uh, taking it towards swarga towards indra to to put it into swarga the asuras attacked brahaspati in a very fierce battle and uh, brahaspati because he has wisdom and he has all the knowledge of shastras and warfare and everything you know uh, he fought very bravely and eventually he was he came out victory the horse became of the gods and because of this victory to honor brahaspati's uh, victory the devas placed him in aries sign of the zodiac as a symbol as a as a representation of courage strength and leadership because when we talk about aries the first sign it means that courage strength leadership this placement is believed to enhance brahaspati qualities and bring success prosperity and good fortune to those who have this placement in their astrological chart very very specific placement of jupiter in aries that means here it brings such kind of prosperity good fortune and everything 
you know also brahaspati if we see in vedic astrology it is associated with the fire element which represents transformation purification and energy what is brahaspati do brahaspati wants to transform you it wants to take you from all the negative things into positive things and the placement is believed to stimulate creativity inspire action and encourage individual to take risks and pursue their goals with determination and confidence look at brahaspati he took such a big risk he alone took the horse and went to the swarg before to deliver it to the swarg before any asura could claim it but he was so so brave that he actually won the battle with the asuras and the horse became of the of whom of the devtas okay now viji the story does not end here story does not end here jupiter is coming in aries and before jupiter is coming in aries we have to understand the relationship of jupiter as well as mars and when they and how they came together do you know the story about it rohit ji that how mars and jupiter came together to no. fight with uh, a very very fierce demon now here we go everyone knows who is lord kartikeya and who is tarkasur so lord kartikeya was supposed to be killing tarkasur so there is a very important very important vedic story which involves the planet mars and jupiter now jupiter and mars are supposed to have very separate very different kind of tendencies towards jupiter is a very uh, wisdom calm and very composed person and again if you see at mars mars has this temperament of being very aggressive quick impulsive okay chanchalta and jupiter is there now there is a vedic story that involves planet mars and jupiter according to the story we know that there is a very fierce demon called tarkasur the demon who gained immense power through his penance he did a lot of penance from lord shiva and he got immense power he became so powerful that he was be able to defeat gods and conquer their kingdom he, in fact even he you know indra was also no no match for his power the god knew that there needed a powerful warrior to defeat tarkasura and that is why you know Shiva's son was chosen. He was called Kartikya. He was the brother of Lord Ganesha, who was born with great warrior skills and destined to become the conqueror of demons. But you know, he everyone need a teacher, and because Brahaspati is Dev Guru, that means all the children of the gods or all the gods have to go to Jupiter to have training about wisdom, about shastras. Jupiter, you know, uh, uh, if we see Brahaspati. he is very very good in the uh, shastra in you know what you say in the uh, uh, in the shastra that is written not practical in the shastra that is spoken but not practical so they needed they needed um, uh, mars brahaspati said that i can only teach uh, tark uh, what you say kartikya the art which is, which is written but for doing actual physical art we need mars because mars is the commander the commander in chief the the commander of the army of uh, god so we need him because he can only give you know very very good uh, results or very he can teach very well to kartikeya but what happened rohit ji here now that is what i have written very very clearly mars was initially very hesitant to work with jupiter because you know jupiter is a very 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 calm person and mars is very very aggressive and and mars cannot be disciplined mars has always to be very impulsive it cannot it cannot wait and jupiter says wait patience so you know they were very, they have a very different kind of temperaments jupiter was calm patient wise and while mars was impulsive aggressive and quick to philosophies quick to anger but the gods convinced mars to put aside their differences and work with jupiter for the greater good okay the other devta said you know we are in trouble our kingdom is lost we need kartikeya to defeat tarkasura and if does not happen then the whole earth will be destroyed everything will come into darkness so under the guidance of jupiter and mars kartikeya underwent rigorous training and learned the art of warfare eventually he led the god army in fierce battle against tarkasura and emerged victorious he got victory and this story highlights the importance of collaboration and teamwork in achieving a common goal even if your differences are there are a lot of differences between you but when you do teamwork to achieve a common goal mars and jupiter despite their differences were able to work together and train kartikeya to become a powerful warrior 
same way in your chart when jupiter is coming and sitting in the house of mars it is training you to become a powerful warrior it is giving you the wisdom and the power to become but you know you need a proper right training and guidance even most formidable the most fierce the most scared the, the most powerful enemy can be defeated this is the story which highlights that how jupiter and mars came together and helped us today what we are living we are living in a very free world where with lot of positive energy because of such sacrifices of the planets so roji yeah. you understand how beautiful our vedic stories are yes beautiful vedic stories and uh, i think hats off to you you do so lots of research but uh, one day i try to find out such stories and i was clueless and find nothing and then i think how akash ji find all these stories and uh, you know all these stories are hidden in our vedas rigveda yajurveda atharveda you go to prachara ji you go to so many books and you then you make this story and i go through the comment lots of people saying this thing that you are the unique and one of the best astrologer what they said i am quoting the people that you tell everything with a base you don't go into transit okay this is happening he is coming here he is looking here he will do this no you just make a base you tell the story why this is happening and i think if uh, world want to know about astrology and if world want to salute astrology it can be only happen with the way you are doing because the world need the logic the countries uh, uh, outside india which are other countries they go with the logics and astrology is with logic and you prove this thing that yes we are with the signs we are a science astrology is a science and we have a logics in vedas we have stories why this thing is happening now the another question is jupiter return this is new term i searched google i searched everywhere i find nothing what is this jupiter return very new term to us roj jupiter returns is very very simple it means that you know sometimes the when the whenever the planet transits it comes to the same house where it already is in your natal chart so for example mm-hmm. just take your chart you mm-hmm. are scorpio lagna and if you see that jupiter is placed in aries mm-hmm. okay in number one sign that means this is a jupiter return for you even okay. if you are aries ascendant and if jupiter is sitting in the first house that means it is aries return uh, jupiter return for you that means jupiter has completed a 12 hour cycle 12 uh, uh, year cycle and now coming to the first house you know 12 years is the time when a female actually starts getting her menstrual cycles 12 mm-hmm. year is the time when we started getting puberty when we start getting you know we say now we are getting older now we are into our now we will be entering teens and 12 mm-hmm. 12 24 36 for uh, 48 these are very important years in your life the most at 12 years you know we start doing puberty 24 years we complete our education and we are now moving on towards our our what you say karma at 36 years we are in the stage where we have kids and now we have to look about the future in 48 years we have to now that plan out out our retirement so these ages are very very important in fact the 36 year is the most important because that is the time saturn also gets uh, matured in our chart so it so is a very important figure because if we see the birth chart there are 12 houses 12 houses exactly if we see the signs, there are 12 signs yeah exactly so uh, 12 months this 12, 12 is very important figure it completes the cycle very important figure that is why i said 12 24 36 48 mm. and so on the 12 table is very 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 important Mm-hmm. now roji i have prepared something for each and every sign here and i would like to thank everyone who have subscribed to us and they are giving so much love and respect and so much blessings you know i sleep so well now while after listening to comments or listening to people's uh, blessings that i feel that yes all the hard work which i have done you won't imagine roji today i was cleaning my backyard my garden and i was doing the story the side by side i was learning the story in the backyard taking out the grass uh, i did lot of hard work today in my backyard the and then doing the story then listening then validating because it story is not just i just got the story and i am telling it i have to validate it that is it true how how did this happen there how are what are the sources how did it come together why kartikeya needed this why uh, the horse was was came out and how the gods won it why why did they place him in aries not in pisces not in scorpio 
so everything is so important so detailed that we have to get into everything to get the facts clear it is just like medicine you know rohit ji that when you you come to the doctor with the symptom if he gives you wrong medicine you are gone okay yes and yes that comes on the karma of doctor so the doctor has to make sure that the medicine is right and the one compliment for me also i know when i when we started the channel and we started doing the free live then uh, you said no rohit i will not see anybody's birth chart i will then i convince you that uh, i go through comments daily and people ask me daily how we can connect akash ji how we can consult akash ji then i convince you somehow it took me two days to convince you please put your mail id and whatsapp number on the screen so people may connect you because if you have a, such a knowledge which is different than other astrologers and which is unique and which is uh, you uh, just uh, when we go through the live you tell the people such a things that i i suddenly thinking that how he knows such a my new thing in which country which place he is living what the problem is going through what education has done what is his job and you done the beautiful thing so i think that uh, i need to convince you that if you pass on this knowledge to the people and uh, people who want to consult you and now this is two month and three month on what lots of people around the world consult you and get the benefit from you so i think this is important some people know if you don't want to uh, uh, pass on the knowledge and don't want to do all these things but i think uh, we are on the right track okay so roy ji can we start with the uh, jupiter yes return? i want to know what is jupiter return how it works what are the effects very interesting so roy ji here we go jupiter is returning on 22nd april and for aries ascendant people it will return in their own sign so jupiter will return in the own sign will bring positive changes and opportunities for growth there will be a lot of confidence optimistic and your leadership skill may be enhanced because it is fits, it's coming in the first house roy ji just imagine it has traveled to all the houses and th- uh, there is another vedic story which i did not say that jupiter travels to all 12 houses for at least one year because it wants to know your house better and it wants to understand that how it can enhance its results once it again comes back to that position what are your weaknesses what are your strengths that is what jupiter is wanting to you know address so here after completing a whole cycle he knows now jupiter knows everything about you you see those people who are more than 12 year 12 year of age jupiter is now known them very very well that how and what kind of people person this is below 12 year of age you know it is said that for first uh 4 to 6 year it is mothers then for, from 6 to for then 6 to 12 years it is fathers destiny which the child lives on after 12 years to uh, uh, 40, uh 12 years to 16 years child makes its own destiny and from 16 years onwards when saturn becomes active in your chart that is the time when you start you know living your karma so roy ji jupiter return here in aries is supposed to be very very auspicious and for all the 12 signs it is going to be auspicious because jupiter means expansion so everything in the, for the first house related to the first house that is your self that is your physical personality uh, physical appearance temperament nature body frame childhood health ego sense to the self strength weaknesses um you know uh likes dislikes everything is going to be taken care of and there could be a very very positive your attitude and your viewpoints towards life will completely change during this period so jupiter return for aries ascendant those who have the placement of jupiter exactly in aries are going to be witnessing a wonderful time wonderful time during this uh, period of energy mute your mute uh, that will be the wonderful time and i hope that uh, the people who have uh, jupiter in their aries sign in the natal chart will enjoy this return this can be at the return of jupiter uh, i am uh, correlating with this so many in the movies the return of this there or hollywood movies now this is return of jupiter so if you are new to our channel and you like our content you like the way we do please be a family member be a part of our acs to family member just subscribe us and be a part of family welcome to the acs 
and the people who want the personal consultations and uh, yesterday i was also watching live how akash ji i can connect you how i can connect you just drop your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number given below the team will contact you and then you will get the video consultation with akash ji one on one that is a simple now moving on further if you are taurus ascendant and the time of birth your jupiter was in aries now where it was and now what result it is going to give you from 22nd april onwards let's see yes ruji one second yeah. so ruji here uh, i was just making the chart and it is taurus ascendant okay. so ruji for taurus ascendant people jupiter return is going to be happening in the 12th house now 12th house is a house of importance so it's very very important house and we all know 12th house is the house from where we see a lot of things the moksha bhav here in the 12th house this tra this transit may bring you opportunities for learning and expanding your horizons so you know jupiter has traveled everywhere and it has understood that yeah you now this is the time for you to expand your horizon start learning you may feel little restlessness and you know uh, that see sense of restlessness will lead you to desire and explore new ideas and perspectives and even dive into various spiritual dimensions because 12th house is the house from where we see your beginning of spiritual journey then we see your isolation your isolation within yourself that means you are now talking to yourself it also says foreign travel separation from partner parents friends neighbors uh, it also means your intuition dreams sleep emotions everything is going to be very very active it is going to be enhanced in a positive way and that is what jupiter here in the 12th house is coming in a very very uh, very very auspicious uh, time that it will make you enter into lot of spiritual dimensions and that is very very important to enter into spiritual dimensions to know yourself that why am i here what is the purpose of life how to get spiritual religious you know religious is a very different thing spiritual how to get spiritual religion how to invite god in yourself how to find the god within yourself that is what these people are going to experience who have the natal jupiter already present in the 12000 jupiter returns here with all its full force and power during this time so ruji your mic ruji every time i forgot jupiter will return here with full power because 12000 uh, is also house of spirituality moksha and this is a pakka house of jupiter so jupiter return will can do wonders here so now moving on to gemini before this i will like to say that please be a part of our family please be a part of acs true if you are new to the channel please subscribe the channel and be a part of family and also please suggest your other family members or friends to be a part of them share this video thank you and if you want a consultation with akash ji personal consultation video consultation one on one very simple just drop your details on the acs to channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number given below you will be contacted by him and you will get the benefit of wisdom of akash ji next moving on gemini now again this uh, return of jupiter is going to happen in a very beautiful house house of desires gemini Ruji, uh, first of all, thank you so much, everyone, for um, liking our video and coming here and subscribing. Thank you very, very much, being a part of our family. And uh, those who have come here and want to see the story, the the reason which the video is being made is in the beginning of the video. So you have to go and listen to it, and then only you will understand what and why. Uh, what am I talking about? Otherwise, everything will go bouncer for you. Now, Rohit, Jupiter here. This transit may bring opportunities for growth and expansion. What is the eleventh house? Higher goals. Okay, it will be a very, very. Uh, there will be a lot of opportunities in growth and expansion in your personal and spiritual life. A stronger connection to your intuition and desire to pursue your passions. You know, sometimes we have passions in ourselves, but you know, we say no. This is not the right time. What do I do? How do I get into it? 
uh, will anyone help me or this and that so many questions we have but this is the time when that is going to be happening you may see a, a good light you may see a lot of benefit from your friends and social circle because 11th house is again the house of social circles those people who are in business may expand their business and there may be lot of gains 11th house is about gains and when jupiter comes and sit here for gemini ascendant people it is supposed to be the best best transit even if jupiter is not here and jupiter is somewhere else but it is coming here it means that it is going to be wonderful transit your third house your courage is increasing your fifth house your creativity is increasing and your seventh house your relationships are getting better so if you have natally placed jupiter here then this is going to be the best best time of your life the next one year where you have to make sure that you do all kind of meditation vedic practices donations and you know serve the humanity in some of the way serve the animals in some of the way that is how this transit will be wonderful for you and again thank you for subscribing for our channel and i really uh, feel very blessed that you are now a part of our family thank you akash ji uh, all acs to family members also feel blessed to have you with them you just lead the channel and you provide all knowledge what you gather from all different sources vedas this is very important thank you for that and if you are new to the channel if you just uh, going going through the youtube and you find the channel and you listen the video and find it good please be a part of our family you can subscribe us our channel and you can be a part of a uh, live free but chart analysis what we do every weekend like uh, today we are making this video on sunday and after this video we are going live so you can part of that and you can have your birth chart analysis there as a free any one question you can ask me and further if you want a detailed consultation if you want to that i am going to take very big decision uh, money is involved or something is involved so wait and just go through the detailed consultation with akash ji just drop your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number given below team will contact you and give you the time and the date when the akash ji have time then you will get the one on one video consultation with akash Now moving forward, Cancer ascendant. How this Jupiter return will help the Cancer ascendant people to grow professional. Oh, Rujj, I would like to thank everyone, bow down and thank for becoming a part of our family, for subscribing. That is our drive for, that is our energy, and thank you so much for doing it for us. Dil se thank you from my heart. Oh, uh, Rujj, this is Jupiter return video. now before i move forward everyone who's in cancer ascendant has to go to the first 10 minutes and he'll hear the story about what jupiter return is and what jupiter does in aries and why it was placed in aries as a very powerful thing other than that why uh, what is the relationship between jupiter and mars and how they came together for a divine purpose and became very good friends now jupiter here for your 10th house can bring positive changes in your career and professional life you may receive recognition for your hard work and have opportunities for advancement because see you know, you know jupiter has seen all the aspects of your life everywhere it has gone to your yourself it has gone to your fixed assets it knows about your communication skill it knows about your mother and family it knows about your creativity it knows about your health issues it knows about your relationships it knows about your 8th house that is house of sudden ups and downs it knows about higher learning so it knows everything now now it has come to the beginning sign and now it will say that okay so now you know i have done the full recce of this chart i have been to all 12 houses now i need to chill here and relax and now give him courage so that he can overcome his weaknesses and make his weaknesses his strength now here promotion or a new business is seen and there will be lot of opportunities for you to get advanced in your career or get a new job or start a new business uh, even uh, if you want to work with your father or good make good relationship with your father think about taking advice from your father this is a very very good time jupiter aspects the second house and hands the material gains and wealth for you and answers the fourth house where it can be there can be some good uh, you know uh, spiritual progress as well as some kind of good um, uh, homa or some good spiritual practice at your home which will happen an auspicious uh, event will happen and the sixth house where it will look at the diseases and help you but this depends and completely this will happen 100% if jupiter is natally sitting in your 10th house 
so it's a beautiful return for uh, cancer ascendant and uh, uh, Ruiji, i think uh, best best wishes to them very very good they should now revive themselves into uh, they should wear a new glass to see their professional life and see the life of their karma that how kind of karma they are doing right now so best transit for you people we hope so we pray so that it will be best for you now the time is for the leo ascendant people but before that again a request uh, that if you are new to the channel if you are watching video for the first channel, first time on this channel please be a part of our family because when you subscribe us we become more motivated to get good subjects and make videos on that so please do that and you can be a part of free bar chat uh, live analysis which we goes on saturdays and sundays you can be part of that right now this is a uh, uh, making video after that we will go live and the people who want a personal consultation very easy just drop your details on the acstro channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number given below whatever you like you can just drop your details team will see it team will filter it and contact you and contact akashji and then we will give you video consultation with akashji very easy now moving on to the sign of ascendant of leo people leo people will get this uh, jupiter return in very beautiful place i think ruji thank you so much for um, everything that you are also doing lot of hard work for listening to me for so many long hours so this is a this is a player for me and i learn so many things from you being a elder brother i need more knowledge but i get from you this is good that i am learning from my younger brother yeah so ruji uh, also thank you for all the people who have who are watching right now i am just subscribed and uh, become a part of our family thank you so much i hope to serve you in the future with everything positive so ruji this is jupiter uh, a return video before you uh, listen to all your uh, predictions you should go in the beginning of the video to understand that why and how jupiter return and jupiter relationship with mars and jupiter's uh, you know courage that why he was placed in mars and he was supposed to be very very energetic uh, he was given the he was, after a victory with some uh, demon fighting with some demon he was given a lot of power and that's why he was placed in aries as an honor he was given at that honorary position here so jupiter return in aries can bring opportunities for growth in your relationship with your elders or teachers number one very very important the ninth house house of elders teachers the house of uh, you know dharma you can attract new relationships gurus or strengthen existing ones if you have guru now this is the time for you to uh, be very very uh, close to your guru or start uh, you know actually spiritually connecting to him you will be here in search of spirituality and will also understand what dharma actually means so you know many people i do consultation with ji they ask that what is i want to be very very spiritual i want to leave everything and just do ram naam or just do shiva shiva or just do krishna krishna i said that is not dharma that is not dharma that is actually running away from dharma so being religious and being spiritual are two very different things either you leave your material uh, you remove your material clothes and move away to complete celibacy that is that is not even dharma that is supposed to be you becoming a monk but what is dharma is you know what what you are supposed to be doing for example a doctor cannot say i am going to leave my doctor thing and i am going to just uh, uh, do ram 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 will say i will curse you because i have sent you in this world so that you become a doctor and then you heal people you do operations you make people better so that is your dharma rather than you just sitting and chanting ram ram god says that understand every day in the morning if you do 108 mala or 1008 mala i will not be happy but you even if you take my name once in the morning or once in the night or once in a day and do your karma properly that will lead you to dharma this is the message of god so those people also who are doing 1000 malas of this and that and uh, so it, it it is good but if you are only in a way where you are leaving the material world do not have a purse do not have a bank account have not have no mobile phone nothing and then do 1008 malas 
then that is going to be very very beneficial for you because you want to become get that spiritual energy in you from which you can transform other people's life but if you want to transform your life that means you need to be dharmic that means you need to do your dharma that is whatever you are sent here for i am sent here to guide you or for example i am sent here to make this video i am making it right now that is god's wish because i cannot do it without his permission no one can do any action without his permission so here rohit ji my dharma is to bring people towards positivity so i am doing that so here your dharma can be being an engineer and helping people connect through it connect through other things now your dharma can be a doctor your dharma can be a nurse your dharma can be a grocery uh, shop owner your dharma you can be so many dharmas so here you will understand what the meaning of dharma is during this return of jupiter jupiter will enhance or enlighten you by telling you the true meaning of dharma and that is what you should do during this period you should focus more on your dharma and karma and it's a, it's going to be a very very beautiful uh, uh, transit now ruji if 9000 i know everyone wants to listen in uh, detail that 9000 you know what all what all what all will be happening it is called the bhagyastan ruji here it uh, means that one's learning long distance journey charity inclination towards good deeds then uh, fortune favors it is called the bhagyastan you know why because it is the stan of dharma here it is called bhagyastan because here it's the accumulated uh, karma of your life is kept your so the fifth house is the house where the past life karma is seen and here the accumulated karma of this year this life happens so all the accumulated karma of this time which has happened is going to get good results or bad results according to you your karma if you have killed someone you will go to jail but if you have you have, you have saved someone then you will go to you will get more good things in your life more positive things so that is how this jupiter return will act for you yes you explain very beautiful things you tell us about life how to live life how to be spiritual what is the true meaning to be spiritual we learn from you thank you and uh, you are watching this video for the first time and if you are new to the channel please subscribe this channel be a part of our family acs group and also please recommend this channel to your friends and family members who are the lover of astrology who want to know something about really true about astrology please recommend them share this video and if you want a personal consultation that's also very simple uh, i always said that if you are on the verge of taking decision and if you are confused just go to the astrologer which you believe which you can guide to a true way then you can just drop your details on sriastochannel@gmail.com or on the whatsapp number given below you will get the consultation with akashi video consultation one of one that's very easy wherever you are in the world no problem you will get it and now moving further to the virgo ascendant what this jupiter return is going to do for virgo ascendant because it is happening in very mysterious house but it is being said that if i can akashi if you can tell that this is the time now for the virgo who have a jupiter in their natal chart now they go for learn astrology and all these uh, things oh uh, yes if they want to learn astrology everyone is welcome because astrology is free for everyone everyone can learn it is supposed to be learned it is a very good science it can help you take decisions it can help you not getting into darkness that is why it is called jyotish that means jyotish means the light on the path jyotish Yes. So, Rohit, here Jupiter. First of all, Rohit, before I move forward, I want to thank everyone from deep corner of my heart that everyone has been so kind, Rohit, and they have become they have given us so much love. I never expected. Sometimes I self doubt myself. Am I right? Doing right? People would be making fun of me. People would be thinking, "What this fat man is coming and telling everyone? What this? What is he? He is talking about only gyan, gyan, gyan." So, I am. If, if that is the case, I am sorry. but yes if you have uh, you have your love in a good or bad way even if you hate me then also it is pranam from my side for you uh it is lot of i bow with respect because i may lack if no one is perfect i may lack some problems i may have some problems and if you find any problem as such you should comment below so that i can improve myself now roji for virgo ascendant people uh uh i would also request you that please go in the beginning of the video and listen to the story the vedic story which uh, makes that jupiter was given an honorary position in uh, you know in the sign of aries and why it was given 
very very uh, good story associated with the seven headed horse so you should 100% watch it or listen to it then you will get the real meaning of this video now ruchi jupiter return means that if jupiter for virgo ascendant people is placed automatically in the uh eighth house then it this will be the perfect thing that they will en encounter those who do not have and are watching there is still no problem because jupiter energy will automatically be here and give them the same kind of results jupiter return in aries can bring opportunities for growth in your spiritual and your personal growth the 8th house roji is a very very deep house it is a secret house it is supposed to be very secret conversation between you and your soul you and your conscious okay roji ji it is also it may you may feel a very desire to explore your inner self and connect with your spiritual beliefs that you will inside talk that no you know something exists some kind of energy by god exists you know i i was never like this but why i am turning spiritual i i was such a bad person i did so many sins in life but now i am going towards the root of spirituality and that is very very good because jupiter here will reveal many things which you have in the past which you have done wrong and make sure that you now fall in the right path and this is the time roji ji to get into deep meditation and learning deep and learning deep truth about your life some and no one is perfect i have done very much bad things in my life roji ji very much bad i sometimes think about it and i i get uh, you know chills that oh why did i do this man i i i also had in my earlier days i was very cunning i was i used to be cunning with other my colleagues i i wanted to go ahead of them i want to make sure that i win that all kind of thing but later on now when i am learning lot of spirituality and vedic knowledge i am understanding that everything is just an illusion in this world what reality is is just reality only exists within ourselves within inside of ourselves that is purity we need to get out purity from our body all the negative things which we think that this guy has this car and why am i not having this car oh he has such kind of uh, you know phone i am using roji really broken phones i do not want to change it my wife is saying that i take iphone 14 take iphone 16 i don't know what all is coming now i said no it shows me the message i can talk talk on it and everything no problem so once you move away from this material world and only work on what is necessary and necessity this is what jupiter is going to teach you during this video which is 8th house is a very mysterious house it is the house of transformation okay this is the house from where your soul transforms and it is a very good period for you to get into deep meditation and learning deep truths about life to transform yourself into a better human being nothing better no better period than this jupiter return this next one year make sure you write down as affirmations i will not harm anyone everyone is my friend even my enemies i will love them my enemies will try to trouble me let them trouble they it is their karma i will make i will do charity i will help others i will be i will go away from material material desires this is how roji ji you will be able to. now here there is a very thin line between material desires and earning so whenever you work you have to earn there is no material desire in this kaliyuga we have to earn we have to pay the rent we have to pay the mortgage we have to pay the electricity bill we have to pay everything and then we have to survive and therefore that you are giving your time and energy to a person to pursue his own dreams or maybe you are pursuing your own dreams and giving money to other people so that is very very good but here it says that you need to transform yourself you need to come into a position where you ask your life that what is the purpose of my life and i want to do good this is the message you should give yourself during this period i hope that this transit becomes very very wonderful for you transit is wonderful and as well as your knowledge is very wonderful which guide us uh, because every ascendant uh, may be feeling like this that uh, is not only telling us uh, predicting us about our future he is also guiding us how to live life how to live life because this is materialistic world and uh, living here is not easy so you guide us for that thank you and uh, you people if you are watching this video and you are new to the channel just be a part of the acs to family we don't call our subscribers as a subscriber we call them as family members so be a part of a family member just subscribe the channel and you can join us live for the free birth chart analysis on the weekends that is also 
good part of it. And further, if you want a personal consultation from Akashji, you need to just diagnose everything from your birth chart. Just drop your details on the mail ID or the WhatsApp number given below. Team will contact you and further you can connect with Akashji with video consultation. Okay. Now the time for the Libra people, Libra ascendant people, what they will get. Very beautiful house again. So for Libra ascendant people or Libra Libra, whatever it is. He and Rao sir says Libra, it is Libra. Libra, yes. So 22nd April, uh, Rohiji, again I forgot, before we move forward, all the people who have tuned in right now, all the people who are watching this video, I would like to bow down and thank you because you hit the subscribe button and uh, that is a very, very big message that you uh, you like us, you like the knowledge, you uh, you are you are helping us getting into a divine path to make our content reach to more and more people so that they can benefit from a lot of positivity. We do not want to share any kind of negativity or nor we want you to consult us. That's why we make all the videos depending on every event that is happening uh, astronomically. And only, you know, just consult only if you have any decision making thing. Otherwise, do not, do not consult. Uh, this planet placement will give the results like it's supposed to give, even if you consult me or consult God. But the thing is that mostly you should understand the placement. That is why I have come up with a very good story in the beginning to understand the power of uh, Jupiter in Aries as well as the relationship of Aries and uh, Mars and Jupiter because Jupiter is transiting into the house of Mars. I have already made a video that Jupiter is entering into the nakshatra of Ashwini. So that is another video which is done and it's getting very good response. So you should watch that also that what is the relation of Jupiter with Ashwini nakshatra. So you know whenever a planet enters there are three layers to it. First the relation between planet and the sign. Second the relationship between planet and the nakshatra. And third the relationship between planet and the planet and the dispositor of that house. That is the lord of that house. So there are three relations and then comes conjunctions that how, that how many conjunctions uh who is conjuncting what kind of good conjunction bad conjunction then comes the placement which is the house it is first four five seven nine eleven which house so there are so many combinations which we have to see in a chart but roiji sorry i am giving a lot of excessive information to everyone but uh, that is how i am you have to bear me this transit may bring opportunities for growth in your home and family life. Seventh house, home and family life. You may feel a desire to create a more nurturing and supportive environment for your spouse. Here you will realize that no, the spouse is very, very important. The spouse is very, very divine. So I need to make sure that I make this environment very, very supportive for her. Whatever they need, uh, maybe a male spouse or a female spouse, give them that. It is also the time to deepen your roots with your business partners because seventh house is again the house of partnerships. Any kind of partnerships is seventh house. And the most important thing, Rohiji, is also enhance your health by partnering with a healthy diet. This is the time you have to enhance your health by partnership. Everything is partnership. If you partner with chicken tandoori, you will get a lot of cholesterol problems. If you partner with salad, you will say, oh, nice. It is light on my stomach and fibrous and my gut health is very, very good. So it depends on what on whom you want to partner with. So hope this uh, transit brings you very, very good results and your relationships become very, very strong. And, you know, you take very good decisions in your relationships, in your business partnerships and like have fun. Your audio is mute. What I was thinking that you say that you are giving uh, more stuff. No, you are giving a more knowledge. If we need to know these things, we just go to go into Vedas. Who will go into Vedas? And uh, I am very happy that you are learning uh, Sanskrit also these days. Yes. This also help you widen all things and go into more Vedas. So here I want to talk about Sanskrit. So you know what happened? So all these white people, they came to our country. And what they did, they took up Sanskrit books and they tried to um, uh, uh, translate it. But what they did is literal translation. Yes. Yes. Right. So if I give you an example, it says that Dobi ka kutta kya ghar ka kya ghat ka. Nah, Dobi ka kutta. Right. There is a very big meaning about it that a person who is, you know, uh, you know how it, it will be translated. 
the washerman's dog is not of home or either of any hill it is so stupid so what that is what has been done with our vedas they have been taken in and translated very literally which has oh. no meaning which has no meaning of like uh, related to the planets what in what metaphor it was said that is why learning sanskrit is very very important i am very it is very very difficult but wednesdays i have taken half day to learn sanskrit oh. so i am i'm learning myself only because i couldn't find anyone suitable time so i'm take, going on youtube and learning i learned what is three ling two ling there are three lings in sanskrit three ling two ling and napunsak ling so birds are like anyone that has uh, it, there is lot of things so i've i'm I sure you will learn because uh, the one term is ape guru ape chela that means you are guru of yourself you are student of yourself and you prove these things when you learn this astrology you learn mantras now you into sanskrit so i am very much sure that you will learn and also make me learn after that i will learn from you <laughs> that will be more easy for me theek hai rohit ji thank you if you are new to the channel please uh, be a part of uh, family member of uh, ac astro channel we will be very happy you please subscribe the channel for more such videos and we also go live for a free bird chat and an analysis on the weekend you can be a part of that and further if you want to be a part of a video consultation of akash ji you want a personal consultation of you your son daughter mother father anyone in the family just drop your details on the csto channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number given below you will be contacted by team and you get the video consultation now the return of jupiter how it will work for the scorpio ascendant people uh yes roy ji uh, all the scorpio ascendant people who have joined our channel right now and who have subscribed just hit the subscribe button thank you so much i bow down with respect to you and uh, you know many people say why are you repeating this why are you repeating this because mm -hmm. uh, you know it may be a repetition for you because you have four other people ascendants in your chart in your home chart but for me uh, it is always gratitude and lot of thanks to everyone who has supported us in this divine journey of getting enlightened as well as gaining knowledge now before scorpio ascendant i move forward and tell about scorpio ascendant you should move or you should go in the first minute of the video i think rupa ji or we have so many uh, well wishers here who put uh, immediately put the counters below right that where it's what is it so you should go uh, and listen to the real story vedic story uh, that why jupiter was given an honorary position in the aries as an aries sign as well as why jupiter and mars they came for a very big mission and they conquered a uh, tarakasura very very dangerous demon so you have to uh, see that then only you will understand that why jupiter return is going to be very very good for you now roj this transit may bring opportunities for growth in your work and health again see roj the 6th house is the house where we see health from and work from okay daily work and routine daily things what we do is seen from the 6th house you may have a desire to improve your daily routine as well as uh, you know uh, better or take better care of your physical and mental health you may find new ways to end your debts so there is a very very good chance of you to find new ways and that is what mysterious planets are they give you ways they give you they show you the path that how will you be able to clear your debts or get a big breakthrough in your legal troubles if any because sixth house is again the house of legal troubles so if you hear sixth house jupiter always make sure that um, you know you be very very religious because jupiter is the planet uh, very very spiritual religious is okay you can be of any religion but very very spiritual during this time lot of chanting of vishnu sahasranamam because you know your it is it has the ability to fight diseases because it is in ashwini nakshatra so it will be helping you a lot a lot means a lot to fight any kind of problems which you are going through from a longer period of time and i hope this transit be very very wonderful and very very divine for you i will pray to god that all the scorpio ascendant people may may have ichha poorti whatever their desire might happen to them if they are looking for a job you know because uh, the the aspect is going on the 10th house so they may find a job the second aspect is going on the 12th house if they want to move abroad this is a very very good time the third aspect is on the uh, the second house that means bank balance will be increasing family life will be harmonious so i wish from deep heart that everything such things happen for them and 
lot of good wishes lot of good wishes to scorpio ascendant people yes lots of good wishes to the scorpio people you get very 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 good results and now i would like to thank you again because our family is growing daily we are very near to touch 20000 family members so you are if uh, new to this video please be a part of our family man acs to channel you just subscribe the channel and you can also join us live for the free bar chart analysis on the weekends thank you for that and now the people who want the personal consultation from akash ji one who want to get the benefit of his wisdom in their birth chart they want to know more about them just drop your details on the mail id or the whatsapp number given below akash ji his team will contact you now further moving on to the sagittarius people sagittarius again the lord is jupiter so yes uh, rohit ji very very important for uh, sagittarius ascendant people before uh, moving forward i would like to thank everyone from sagittarius ascendant to like us to subscribe us to share our videos and it is very very divine i feel very very divine with your blessings my family is prospering my family is in good health because of all the blessings that you give and i hope the same to you that your family and everyone be in good health and rohit ji bow, bow down to all the subscribers who are now family members and uh, you know they are benefiting they can benefit it even 1% from this uh, prediction or this uh, positivity which i am trying to bring to the universe if 1% also happens that means my moksha is confirmed that is what my desire is Rohit ji, here Sagittarius ascendant Jupiter will be returning in their fifth house. Now, Jupiter being in Aries has a very, very significant, uh, very much significance in Vedic astrology because that is why I made a story in the beginning. You go and listen to it. That why uh, Jupiter was given honorary position in the sign of Aries, and here with Mars, how he uh, collaborated with Mars and helped Kartikya to fight Tarkasur. you have to listen to all that story because if vedic story you don't understand then this is all just text written for you or just my words coming out of the mouth then you will not understand the real motive of jupiter here so jupiter return in aries can bring opportunities for growth in your communication and learning the fifth house is the house of learning higher education education your childhood education constant learning and it is also the lakshmi trikon from where you will see money for your chart you may feel the desire to share your ideas and knowledge with others here it is very important that you may feel that you know this knowledge like for example if i was uh, sagittarius ascendant and i am doing this right now that means there is some kind of energy present in me which is telling me to uh, go and tell or share my knowledge with others maybe you can share this video with others like saying that oh no you know i saw something knowledgeable and here and i am not saying i am not claiming anything to be a very very knowledgeable person or something but yes i have been trying very hard to learn vedic um rituals vedic astrology and vedic stories and bring it to you so that you come out of the trap of astrologers who are trying to just say that oh this is guru chandali yoga will happen you will die you will suffer you will die you will that it has already happened 12 hours 12 years ago it has already happened in like many lifetime of yours and you are also here we are also here everything that is happening we are taking breath breath we have our phone in our hand we have our laptops in front of us we are listening to this video we have god has given us eyes good hands legs everything so we are happy here rohit ji during this time you make sure that you take your ideas very seriously because it can lead to a new revenue source for you i told you this is the house of lakshmi stan and whatever idea whatever anything comes to your mind comes from the fifth house the fifth house energy whenever planets are transiting through natal fifth house or natal uh, you know uh, over uh, like venus is transiting over natal venus or jupiter is transiting over natal jupiter what does natal jupiter means it means that in your birth horoscope jupiter is also placed here in your uh, fifth house automatically placed here only and that means jupiter is returning here this is what jupiter return in natal chart means so it's going to be a very very good transit for you from here it is looking at your ninth ninth house at the house of long distance journey or maybe it can be in the house of pilgrimage house of higher learning so again knowledge and learning will go hand in hand then it is going looking at yourself the um it is looking at the 11th house of higher goals and gains so keep your goals high and gains you know gains can happen to you then other than that it is looking in your first house the first house is the house from where you can see your personal self inner self development your decision making power will increase so all the best to sagittarius ascendant people may this jupiter transit be wonderful this is again i am telling you 
very specifically for natal Jupiter placement. But if you are also watching this just for knowledge, then also Jupiter will have the same kind of energy here for you, but depends on the placement of Jupiter in your chart. Yes, it all depends on the placement of your Jupiter in the chart. So thank you very much for being a part of our plan, ACS program. Now we are growing from 1 to 20,000. This is all because you believe in Akash, you believe in his knowledge and want to connect with him. But uh, if you are new to the channel and you are watching this video for the first time, please be a part of our family. Just hit the subscribe button and you will be part of family and you will get benefit because we go live every week. Free birth chart analysis. You can connect with Akashji there also. But if you want to connect with Akashji personally, you want personal consultation, just drop your details on the acs to channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number given below you will get the video consultation with akash one-on-one -on -one. now the other important sign we are moving to is a capricorn ascendant capricorn ascendant people if they get their jupiter return in the fourth house what they will get let's see G for Capricorn ascendant people, okay. Jupiter return is in the fourth house, but before moving there, fourth house is the house of mother. All the mothers who are watching me, I bow down to you and thank you. All the sisters who are watching me, I bow down to you. All the brothers, everyone who's watching, brothers, sisters, family members, thank you so much for supporting us. I would, uh, oh, and for subscribing, for hitting the subscribe button, thank you so much. It means a lot, and that is the only purpose to come here. Uh, getting 2,000 or 20,000, 50,000 subscribers will not suffice. Getting positivity to the universe through the medium of uh, this video will be my aim and is my aim. I hope that you come here, you smile and you go. So that you know you do not are scared. Every planet has a good, bad and a worst aspect. But we will talk only about the good aspect of Jupiter. Roji here, 22nd April, Jupiter is going to be returning in the 4th house. Now, again, for Capricorn Ascendant people, those who have Jupiter actually placed in the natal chart in the 4th house, this is 100% result for them only. If you are watching this, if you don't have Jupiter in natal chart, but still you are watching this, then it is okay. You can watch this and get the knowledge, but it is going to be effective only 20-25% for you. Other than that, uh, before moving on, you need to go to the beginning of the video to listen to the story of Jupiter and how Jupiter was given an honorary position in the 10th house and why the seven-headed horse. Very, very interesting story. What happened with the seven-headed horse? And other than that, uh, it also, the story of, Ma Vedic story of Mars and Jupiter combining, coming together and helping Kartikya, who is the son of Lord Shiva, to defeat Tarkasura, the story of that. So, you know, you have to understand this before you listen to the prediction. Now, here you may have a very strong desire to create a comfortable and nurturing home environment for yourself and your family. You might be here looking out for someone that, you know, you need to complete your family. This is, this is the house of luxuries. This is the house of creating a comfortable home environment where you have very beautification of home. You get things for your house. You want to live peacefully, decorate your house, all that kind of stuff. But other than that, on a very deeper level, you will be very much interested in your cultural roots and traditions. Fourth is the house of your tradition, the tradition of your mother, the tradition of your motherland. Okay, you will be very much interested in your cultural roots and traditions and feel a strong connection to your heritage. You will want to listen, you will want to understand that where our forefathers came from, why are we here, what kind of culture did we go through, how come astrology is a part of our culture, even if we are of any other religion, where did we come from, what our ancestors did, what are the what is called Pitru Dosh, what is called uh, you know why the crow comes and eats uh, you know the food which is given to our pitras what is the story roji i have a story of crow coming and eating the the pitra food because there is a god a crow god who has who has been given a boon that he will be not bound to time so he can go in the future go in the past go in and be in the present at the same time that is why we give a lot of uh, food to the crow during Pitra, Pitra Paksh because crow has the ability to go in the past, present and future at the same time. Very good story I'm going to be telling you in one of the videos, just making the story of on how to please Pitras. Okay. 
secondly everyone who is listening capricorn ascendant understand there is no pitru dosha any pitra of your any past away person in your family will never ever give you curse so be don't get into the trap of all these false astrologers who tell there is pitra dosh you need to do this puja with 21 pandit this and that no pitra can give you uh, you know uh, bad curse but there is pitra dosh in a way where your pitra might not have been returned to the realm of you know to the realm of swarga or narka he may be trapped in this world due to his karma that is why we do pitra puja so that they can attain peace during that time no pitra gives you harm okay so very very important we have to understand so ruji for the fourth house very very good you know some people may travel abroad because it is aspecting the 12th house aspecting the 8th house deep knowledge you will also start learning new things and that is why you are watching this video currently and um the 10th house career enhancement lot of career development is also seen here so all the best so capricorn ascendant good very good return and i hope that uh, uh, you know you you go and find your cultural roots during this time it will be very very eye opener for you very very eye opener thank you akash ji and thank you to all of you also because uh, constantly we are growing as a family and you are if new to this video please subscribe and be a family member of ac test channel thank you very much and if you need personal consultation that is a, a common question i go through when comments then you just drop your details on the acs to channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number given below you will be contacted by team and you get the video consultation with akash now moving further to the aquarius ascendant what the return of jupiter will bring for the aquarius ascendant people this is also interesting let's see because the house is third to chart house yes roy ji sorry i lost you but now i am back um uh, roy ji for aquarius ascendant it is going to be in the third house but before that thank you everyone all the aquarius ascendant people thank you so much for coming and uh, you know listening to our video and giving us courage and you know giving us so much blessing so that we can make more video or bow down to all the mothers brothers sisters everyone and thank you so much thank you so much again deep from deep of my heart thank you for putting that subscribe button if you have not please 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 do it that will encourage us so jupiter return means that whenever you are uh, seeing your birth chart and if you have jupiter in aries in the third house already in your birth chart the same way or in your navamsha that means jupiter is returning for you now um, before i tell you about the jupiter return you need to go to the beginning of the video to listen to the story of jupiter getting an honorary position in aries why why it a uh, save the seven he, uh, headed horse and how it you know, defeated the demons and then how what is the relationship between mars and jupiter the second story which i have told a story of mars and jupiter where it fought um, it came together jupiter and mars being very separative energies came together but to help lord kartikeya to win the battle against tarkasura very very important story you will understand then that jupiter what kind of energy it is bringing for your ascendant now jupiter in aries can bring opportunities for growth in your spiritual and personal growth because third house is the house of personal interest so spiritual will spirituality will now become your personal interest you may feel the desire to explore your inner self and connect with your spiritual beliefs during this time your personal interest may take a twist and turn and you may be very very inquisitive to communicate your experience with the outer world you know when you get into this enigma when you get into this when you feel something or you meet someone like for example i get lot of uh, after my chart consultations you know roj ji i get lot of calls saying that i have referred you to three three more people or two more people there is a very very wonderful lady in um, uh, singapore she i did her uh, chart reading she is working as an NG, in an ngo helping women doing very great job she messaged me that you know sir i have referred to two of my best friends and they are going to consult so that is the third house effect you know you will be so in, in uh, inquisitive that you know i need to share this uh, thing with someone else i need to share my knowledge i need to share this experience with someone else and that is going to be happening for aquarius ascendant you are going to be experiencing transformation in your communicative skills in your uh, you know you will see your brothers and sisters or your neighbors or your surroundings with a with a different kind of glasses this time where they will look very clear and you will understand their their motives and everything which they you know they want from you or you want from them 
so it is going to be a very very good uh, jupiter return for you and i wish you all the best very very good luck for you during this uh, jupiter return very very good return for uh, the all aquarius ascending people also wish you best of luck and we i will request you are our motivation behind this channel so please if you are new to this video be a part of acs for family just subscribe the channel and you will be our family you can also join us live on the weekends we do that is free birth chart analysis in the live and if you want a detailed birth chart analysis from akashji that is also very simple just drop your details on acs to channel at gmail.com or on the whatsapp number given below now the concluding sign pisces lord again jupiter now coming in very very beautiful house because every person in this world world want wealth and everything this is also family so lots of things. so what this means for pisces ascendant people let's see roji pisces ascendant people uh, jupiter is going to be coming back in the second house so uh, again um, okay, before i move forward thank you pisces ascendant people and thank you all the people who are of any other religion caste creed background country who believe in vedic astrology have come to seek questions answers about this transit thank you so much for coming to our channel i bow down in respect to you and also uh, to hit the subscribe button and follow us thank you again it means a lot uh, all the hard work and when i see that oh this video gave us 100 subscribers 200 subscribers 500 then you know it feels so good that you know at least 500 people or 200 or 300 people trusted us and that's why our family is increasing now before i tell about the placement of jupiter in the second house there is a very important story in the beginning of the video where i have spoken about how jupiter was given an honorary position in the sign of aries and on top of that the relationship between jupiter and mars that how they came together to help lord kartikeya win against tarkasura a very very important demon in uh, in this in the vedic uh, uh, vedic uh, you know stories or vedic mythology of india so you have to listen to that then you will get the pure aspect of jupiter its motive and what it's going to do for you in the second house this transit may bring opportunities for growth in your financial and material possessions okay because second house is the house of fixed assets financial opportunities okay you may receive unexpected financial gains or have opportunities to grow in your career and i am talking with evidence because jupiter whenever it sits in the second house it acts like you know it it is it is supposed to be the planet of expansion it expands that's why it it makes it doubles the thing so if you buy gold it will be doubled if you buy a property you may be able to buy second property but that is the kind of energy jupiter gets whenever it sits that means expansion okay good opportunities in your career now everyone will say what is the relation of second house with career rohit ji is this a question or no you know second house you can see the ninth drishti going directly on the 10th house that is the relation to career so that means career will be enhanced you will be taking extra effort to help your extended family and work on your speech rohit ji in your 6th house it will be looking so you know daily work and you know you will take an extra effort in your daily work and also with your extended family it will be mm -hmm. looking at your 8th house you will be taking you know you will be having deep knowledge you will be learning you will be learning new things so that you can help develop a good speech or speak speaking abilities and maybe you may be trying to improve your personality during this period so overall this jupiter return for pisces ascendant is also being wonderful and the placement of jupiter is wonderful and the lord of the ascendant is jupiter so all the best for you very 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 good auspicious beginning for you in the jupiter uh, transit return very best all the very best for uh, all of you and i will uh, like to thank all the people around the world who are the family member of ac astro now and those who are new because when we see we have uh, 50000 60000 views and so many people is that maybe they forget to uh, you know hit the subscribe button please hit the subscribe button by doing this you will be the family member of ac astro and you can join us live on the weekends for free birth chart analysis and further if you want a detailed birth chart analysis that that is also so easy drop your details on acstrotenergy.com or on the whatsapp number displayed you will get the consultation thank you
थैंक यू वेरी मच वन सेकेंड थैंक यू आकाश जी टू यू ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू आर दू नो सेंटर पॉइंट ऑफ दिस ए सी एस टो चैनल यू आर दीरो यू गो थ्रू ऑल थिंग and you just guide us looking everyone all the subscribers are the hero we are the what you say producers for heroes so that they become heroes yes. <laughs> this is your generosity thank that you so much you. for everyone everyone to thank support us jai shri ram jai shri ram jai hanuman jai mata ki jai mata